Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Ramelda, and today I will be preparing for you a Bahamian pumpkin soup. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. The ingredients are listed for you on your left. Okay, I have two medium sized conch already been tenderized and five pounds of cut up turkey wings. The turkey wings have already had its first boil. Now it's time for the conch. The conch, I'm going to shut this off as soon as it begins to boil. Okay, just about everything is cut up. I'm still working on the potato. And the cassava and I have to cut up the corn. I have to finish this celery. Let me finish the celery. Just cutting this up. Onions are ready. Oh yes, that's out of the way. Now I have two cloves of garlic. Smash and then I can peel and cut that up. Now I'm adding just potato, cassava and corn, but you can also add carrots and half-fried plantains in the soup as well. But the majority of the soup is going to be pumpkin. Okay, this is the turkey ring after second boiling. I'm just going to pour this water off, all of that grease, I don't want that in my soup. Now the pot has already been rinsed and we're ready to start the soup's foundation. Okay, I'm just going to use about two tablespoons of oil. Okay, that should do it. Now I'm going to add to that the onions, the celery and the garlic. That's two tablespoons of oil, that's a piece of thyme tablespoon of thyme. Okay, now I'm going to season that up. Some garlic salt. Now you can use as much salt as you wish. So that's why I like to season as I go. That's garlic salt. And a little bit of turmeric. Now with this, I'm just using this for extra color and flavor as well. So just about a tablespoon of that turmeric powder. Mrs. Stash is in the building. I'm going to put a little bit of her in. And the pepper flakes. Now this can also be substituted with black pepper or any other pepper that you would like to use. Now everything is going to be combined. So I have onion, celery, thyme, garlic, and the seasoning. Garlic salt, red pepper flakes, turmeric. All of that a good mixing. You want to coat everything. Just like that. It smells good. Next is the pumpkin. Now I'm not going to add all this pumpkin in at once. Most of it goes in. I'm going to allow it to boil, get a little soft. Mash them up to just give the body, give body to the, the broth. So that'll be like the foundation. That's why it's called a pumpkin soup. So I added most of the pumpkin. I'm going to add the, the rest of it a little later. The outer water. That's about four cups. Now this is a big pot. So 
the water depends on the size of the pot and that's two more cups so that's six cups of water so the amount of water depends on the size of your pot now just keep that in mind you might not need need all of this water in your pot now I just added water so I have to add some more garlic salt more seasoning mix that up okay Cover that down and allow that to cook. While that is going for about five to eight minutes, work on the vegetables. Beginning with the corn, just cutting them in half, splitting them in half. And of course the stove is on medium. These are still somewhat frozen so giving me a little bit of challenge I will get there oh boy four hands Ugh. need a little help so this should do the trick okay I don't want to break my knife so Okay, that is simple. I had eight ears of corn, now I have 16 pieces of corn. Excellent. So we have food for today and tomorrow. This is pumpkin soup and everybody likes soup, so need a good bit of this. I have one more potato to finish. These are the purple skin potatoes, sweet potato. Get that off, wash them up, then I can cut them up. In two bite sizes. Sour, that's the last piece. Cut that little piece off. Now oh, I can get rid of these skins. The area, then I can wash the potato under the sour and cut them up. That would be me. So I'm just wipe this down quickly. Okay, now I'll rinse them off, then I will begin the cutting up. A little bit larger than the bite size. As is, they are too big to go into the pot. They'll take up too much space. So I'm just going to half some and quarter some. Okay, okay, just like that. Four pieces out of that one. This is a sweet potato. That's just the cassava. Four pieces out of that one. All of them have this brown. So I'll have to cut that out. I don't know what that is.
but it's still firm so I'll just cut it out of all of them This was three sticks of cassava. I love cassava. This is the last two pieces. Get a little clean out. Okay. Now they are ready. Now you can also add carrots and or a half ripe plantains as well. But I'm not adding any of those today. Strictly pumpkin. Okay, that is rolling. Give it a stir. Okay, they're somewhat soft. So I'm just gonna use my masher and mash up the pumpkin that is in the pot before adding the other pumpkin in. Just to build the, the broth, you want it a little thick. Okay. Okay. We're not quite ready for another three to five minutes. And then I can start. Okay. Just like that. You have to be careful now, this is super hot. Should do it now. I can add the others in. Okay. Tell us the potato and the cassava. Well, mix that up. Next is the conch, two medium conch, it's already tenderized and cut up. So now they're not boiled all the way, they're not cooked all the, all, of, all the way. I shut the stove off as soon as it began to boil. So now they're going to continue cooking in the soup throughout this process. Is the corn. Now I'm gonna have to use another pot because the dough would not be able, the dumplings would not be able to fit in this pot. So I'll just take some of this out and transfer it into another pot along with the dumplings. Okay, now it's in, some is in another pot. I didn't even add the meat as yet, the wings, so. This is a lot of vegetables. Here comes the turkey wings, cut up turkey wings. So this is a healthy soup today. We're still in quarantine, so you have to do something healthy now and then. All right. So I would add most of the dumplings to the smaller pot. My favorite pot. This entire process should take no more than 45 minutes to an hour for cooking, for cooking this soup. So you just have to space it out. Make sure you give that turkey wing, the turkey wings, two nice scalding. 
because they have a lot of fat. You don't want that in your soup. No, you don't. So I'm just covering that down for about five minutes, five to eight minutes. Okay, just clean this up. And I'm going to add some more water to the smaller pot. There you go, because that, this is where I'm going to add most of the dumplings. Cover this down and then I'm going to work on the dumplings. Give this a mixing. Alright, so while that is cooking, I'll just work on the dumplings. flour, salt, water and I'm just going to add a little bit of baking powder for the sake of my daughter because she has braces and she complains that the dough always stuck to her braces because it's too chewy without the baking powder so I'm just going to add a little bit of baking powder that's two cups of baking of flour and I'm going to put this other cup, cup of flour on the side so I don't have to be in and out Okay, two cups, just a little bit of salt, mix that up, water, oh and I almost forgot the baking powder for my daughter, so we'll just add a little pinch of baking powder to this. a little bit just to soften it up a little bit now dumpling supposed to be a little stiff so baking bottle just soften them a bit I'm just gonna bring everything together in this bowl before putting it on the countertop flour so that the dough would not stick to the counter now it's ready get this together just like that I'm kneading the dough I'm just going to do this for about three minutes or so. And this is also good exercise for my arms, my upper body, working it. Five minutes max. Just getting it together. So this is somewhat stiff. But yet so off. That's good enough. Cover it down for a few moments before forming 
the dumplings. So I'll be making the flat ones as well as the spinners. Okay. I just allow it to rest for about a minute or two. Okay, this flour that I'm rest that I had that I added to the board is what's going to help with the thickening of this, the broth. So that's important. So I'm just rolling them in my hand and then and then I'm gonna spread them out with my two thumbs. Just like that. Roll, roll, roll. Like you're rubbing something together, forming a ball. Use the thumbs to spread it out. I don't want them too big, so just a little bigger than a bite size. The pot is already crowded, so I don't need them too big. Just right. Just like that. Now I'll do the rest of the flat ones off camera just to save time and I'll do some of the spinners on camera. So these are going to be nice. Now I can work with the spinners. All of the flat ones have already been formed. the spinners. Roll it together, rub it together and just let it stretch. Okay. Now I'm gonna also add some pasta to this so I don't need too 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 much dumplings because I have a lot of vegetables as well. Just about a cup full of pasta. That's the spinners. This is the last one. My dumplings now it's time oh boy to drop them that is rolling look at it Oof. still needs more time to cook this is pumpkin soup turkey wings and conch smells divine this is what I am talking about today now, like I said, the flour from the dumplings are going to thicken the broth more. But you don't want it too, too thick now. This looks great. It's pumpkin soup. Oh my word. Yes. Now it's time to check my favorite pot. This is my peas and rice pot. This pot never lets me down. Right. I'm rolling too. Now it's time to drop the dumplings. The dumplings should be ready in about five minutes. I've added a little baking powder so that should even make it even quicker. Apologize for the noise outside. Uh, they're building something next door, so it's 
thoughts beyond my control. Okay. Dumplings, dumplings, dumplings. That's what I am talking about. For five minutes I should be ready. And I also added a little bit of garlic salt to the smaller pot as well because I added more water. Now I'll put the spinners in this pot and later I will take some of the flat ones and add it to this as well. That is rolling. Oh my word, this looks great. This soup is perfect on any rainy day or cold day or night nice pot of, pot of soup would do the trick for your family soup rainy days are soup days You're still locked in, so just trying to make something that is healthy today. I'm still bringing the restaurant to my family. We are having soup. Pumpkin soup. With conch and turkey wings. Sweet potatoes, cassava, and corn. Pumpkin soup. This is done the Bahamian way and of course the dumplings. Now I said I'm going to add about a cupful of this pasta. Just to really bring it together. I don't want the entire box in no. Be too much. But I still want you still want to be able to have some broth. I'm gonna add a little bit to this pot as well. I'm gonna stir that through. This is what I'm talking about. It smells delicious. Pot is hot. So I have to hold in. This is Bahamian pumpkin soup. This is the way I do my pumpkin soup. Like I said, you can add carrots as well as half ripe plantains or green bananas, whatever you want. You can also add diff a different type of meat or you can do it without meat. It's up to you. Make it the way you want it. This is what I want in my soup today, so this is what we're gonna have. And apart from that, we are also locked in. We have food for today as well as tomorrow. So 
I'm just giving the dumplings as well as the vegetables enough time to finish up five minutes or so then I'm going to shut it off and allow it to cool for another five minutes or so before serving because this is extremely hot and once it's cooling cooling the flavors will just marinate together and you will taste the real goodness in this soup oh my word look at it all of that goodness stove is off okay I'm just breaking up the noodles that are at the bottom Now, like I said you can season this to taste and you can also use black pepper if you wish or any other type of pepper it's up to you this is Bahamian pumpkin soup and oh man Anyone can have this. From the old all the way to the young. Let's go. Pumpkin soup. Just going to transfer some of the dumplings to this bigger pot all right mix that up so I can get the flavor from this pot goodness all right that's the signature thumbs up it's great It's a healthy pot of soup, pumpkin soup, it's sweet potato and corn, as well as the cassava, dumplings, turkey wings. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Share me out. God bless you and I will see you in the next one.